hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Joe, and today i have another one for you we're going to make a wrist wallet or you can call it a wrist cuff or a wrist pouch let's make the pattern for the front that will measure four inch wide by ten and a half inches and you will measure down from the top one and a half inch down draw on a horizontal line and measure in from the sides two and three quarter inches and that you will cut up into sections for your front panels. For the back, it's four by nine and a half inches and you will cut two pieces. So this is the front, you will cut a lining and the exterior. You will also need a zip that is six inches long. So you will now insert your zip to the front panel sections. So place your exterior top piece right sides up on your work surface place the zipper zipper uh, with a pull facing down and then you will add your lining right sides down on top of the zipper so you have three layers match the top edges and you will clip and sew across making sure not to sew on the teeth of the zipper use your zipper foot so here I'm at the sewing machine, I'm sewing across to secure the zipper between the two layers of fabric. Make sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end. And this is what you should have at this stage. You will now pull away the two fabric pieces from the zip as shown. And you will top stitch close to the zipper. Again, do not sew over the zipper teeth. You will use a 1 8 seam allowance. Okay, so now let's add the bottom section to the other end of the zipper. Place the exterior piece right side up and the lining right sides down matching the three top edges like we did before. And we'll take this to the sewing machine and sew across. Hey guys, please remember to give this video a like to support my channel and so that other people can see my tutorials and learn from them as well. So we are sewing the bottom section of the zipper, bottom section of the front panel onto the zipper. After you've sewn that, you will pull away the fabric and lining pieces again, as you did for the top half, and you will top stitch close to the zipper teeth. Also, you can subscribe if you enjoy my content. And if you want to check out more videos, I'll place links in the description. Or you can also go onto my channel page and check out my other videos on bag making and ways to reuse your scrap fabrics. This is a wonderful project for using up scraps as well because it only requires small pieces of fabric to get it done and you can mix and match your fabric pieces and make something real cute. If you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section. Now pull your zipper center or away from the edge because you're now going to sew on the sides. Fabric for the side, right sides down and the lining piece right sides up. Matching the three edges again pin in place and once more we we'll go to the sewing machine and sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. If your zipper is longer than you need, you will trim it down 
and pull the two fabric pieces together and top stitch. You will repeat all the steps for the other side. Now make sure your zipper is open. We will now place our back panel, our back panel pieces down on the front panels. Place them right sides together. And then you will place the lining back panel right side up. Pin around all the edges and you will sew all the way around using a quarter inch seam allowance. You'll be using your zipper opening to turn right sides out. So make sure to pin and, or clip and take this to your sewing machine and sew around the edges. Now trim your uh, seam allowance down to about 1 8 of an inch. Turn your wallet, your wrist wallet, right sides out. Make sure you roll out all the edges and poke out all the corners. Top stitch all around using a 1 8 seam allowance. Take a piece of a 1 inch piece of velcro and you will sew it on as your closure. Place one piece, one half of the piece on the top and on the opposite end you will place it on the bottom. And this will be used to secure your wristlet to your wrist. If you have cam snaps, or if you would prefer to use a magnetic snap, you can go ahead and do that. Ta-da! Your wrist wallet is now complete. You've top stitch and you've sewn in place your Velcro fastener. So you have a small little pocket you can Put a few dollars inside or if you're just going for a run or some sort of errand where you don't want to carry a purse, you can use your wrist wallet. So I hope you enjoy this little, this quick little tutorial and let me know in the comments if you're going to try it. So enjoy and thanks again for coming to my channel and supporting and watching my videos. Please make sure to watch the videos to the end because it will help a lot and like and subscribe. See you in my next video.